Padma had never been to the beach before. She scuttled along the shore, eyes fixed down at the wealth of treasure scattered at her feet. Here, a whelk corkscrewed out of the sand. Picking it up, she marveled at what a beautiful souvenir it would make. There, a shallow cup of mother of pearl shimmered in a seaweed nest. She plucked it free from the tangled strands. She could thread it onto a string for a necklace, she thought delightedly. And over there, a green sparkle winked at her. A nugget of sea glass. She snatched it from the sand, and the color pooled in her palm. How pretty it would look as a sun catcher in her window back home. A particularly large seashell caught her eye. It curled in solitary splendor at the water's edge. She dropped her harvest and seized up the shell. Glowing in the sun, its smooth surface spiraled into its mysterious heart. Padma lifted the shell to her lips and blew. Her breath became a great bellow, rising and swelling to break over the shoreline and roll out over the waves. It was a masterful sound. As it volleyed and echoed, Padma thought, what a wonderful horn. I can take it with me to show my friends. edges of the great bellow fragmented into silence. And then Padma heard the silence. And in the silence she heard the sea shushing gently. She realized the waves were coiling around her toes, playfully cooling them. Behind her, the trees breathed softly, stirring in the breezes that lifted her own hair into fluttering feathers against her face. She turned to the sound of stealthy scurrying and detected the telltale trail of a small animal in the ripple of golden sea grass. The long, lone call of a seabird drew her eyes upward. She watched it carve the piercing blue sky. Slowly, she became aware she could see forever. And then, Lifting the great shell to her ear, she listened. The shell told her much. And Padma listened. Padma had never been to the beach before.
leaving her harvest of shells on the sand. Padma took the beach home with her in her heart. 